Welcome to the following presentation of CJ Leeds DMV Search. When going through this presentation, we will give you the information on how to search DMV information using the CJ Leeds program. Within CJ Leeds, there are two types of DMV searches. There is the DMV person search and the DMV vehicle search. DMV information in CJ Leeds is available for authorized users only. Law enforcement, law enforcement support staff, probation, and DMV user roles are authorized to access driver's license images, data, and vehicle registration data. Prosecutors, judges, magistrates, clerks, and corrections prison officials may see only driver's license data. Once a user has signed into the CJ Leads program, menu items along the left hand side of the screen will be shown. Choose the menu item DMV person to conduct a DMV person search. Unlike an offender search or an advanced offender search, a DMV person search can only have one search reason. Because of this, CJ Leeds has automatically inserted that reason. The only search reason can be person ID check. While in this screen, you have the option to choose search note to add a note on why you're searching this individual for future reference. The state destination is for DCI use only. The driver history, that is for DCI use only also. Purpose code is DCI only. And attention is DCI only. In future functionality, DCI will be integrated with CJ Leads and these options will become available to other users. When performing a DMV person search, you will need to add personal identifiers in order to narrow down your search and to pull up who you are looking for. That information will be the following. A driver's license. That is mandatory unless you have the last name of the individual. The first name, the middle name, the birth date, the age, race, gender, county, and city. The more information you're able to enter, the more you're able to narrow down your result. The following screen will appear for prosecutors, judges, magistrates, clerks, and correction prison officials. They will be required to enter the county and court case number to continue the search. When you have conducted your search, the DMV person screen will appear. Much like the CJ Leeds offender screens, there are two sides, the left pane and the right pane. The left pane has basic information along with the menus that are able to be chosen throughout this. You will automatically be on the first menu, which is your license data. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll be able to see the information for license data. Up top, it will have the driver's license status along with demographic information and address. Recently, Information as far as veteran status and active duty military have been added. However, because this is a new feature, it will not be readily available until more and more DMV users update their license information. The license detail table below simply gives your basic information on what class of license and any restrictions that may be available along with the dates. The next menu under license details is driver's history. By clicking on this, the table to the right that appears will be the driver's history for that individual. This will be 
anything he has done within his history as far as a begin date, an end date, and the description. This could be anything from simple license renewal to any speeding infractions that may be on that license. The next menu is the RDL SI slash CDL IS menu. RDL SI stands for Remote Driver's License System Interface and CDLIS stands for Commercial Driver's License Information System. When on this menu, over on the right hand side of your screen, you're given three radio buttons for additional options. The first one is any withdrawals that may be, if applicable for this license. The second radio button is your RDL SI slash CDL IS convictions. This will list any convictions a user has with their commercial license. The citation date will be issued along with the court type, the vehicle, the state, and any details that may be available. The third radio button is your RDLSI slash CDLIS accidents. This will list any accidents that are on record. It'll give the date, whether it was a commercial vehicle or hazmat status, the accident, and any additional details that may be available. The last menu that is available for this search is vehicles. When looking on the right hand side, it will list all vehicles registered to that user. By clicking on the view button on one of those vehicles, it will open up the DMV vehicle information. Because DMV vehicle information is also a separate search, we will explain that when we get to how we do that search in this presentation. However, if you were to click on view, it would take you straight into the DMV vehicle search. The lookup button is located in the top left corner of your screen on the left hand pane. By clicking the lookup button, CJ Leads will perform a search on any offender information based on the information it has found from the DMV person lookup. Located up in the left hand corner of your screen, you will also notice a report button. That report button is there to allow you to run a report for the DMV person search that you've just conducted. You will be able to set the parameters using drop down boxes stating yes or no to have that information listed. If you find that you run the same report and use the constant settings, you may check Remember These Settings located on the right hand side of your screen to ensure every report ran will have those settings from their own. Much like a search, you will be given the choice to enter a reason. A reason must be entered, however you may choose what that reason is on this screen. You must print the reason that you are about to print or run this report. You will also be able to choose whether you're running this report for yourself or for another individual. When yourself is checked, your information, your name and agency will be listed to the right. If you choose other, you may enter the person's information in their agency over in the fields on the right. However, note, your name will still be attached to the report as the person who printed it. We will now go into our second DMV search, which is a DMV vehicle search. Once again, just like the first search that we conducted with the DMV, once you have signed in to CJ Leads, to the left are menu items. You may simply choose DMV vehicle and click on it to start your vehicle search.
just as stated with the DMV person search. Only one search reason can be selected for this search, and CJ Leeds has already provided that search reason for you. It is the traffic stop slash vehicle search. You will also have the option to enter a search note so that you may go back in the future and remember why you may have ran this record or any notes that you had associated with it. Your state slash destination is for DCI users only and your year is for DCI users only. The DCI function will be coming in the near future and will be available for everyone who has Module 1 DCI certification. Below, vehicle identifiers are needed in order to conduct the search. It is mandatory that you enter either the plate or the VIN so that you may conduct this search. Other items besides the plate and VIN you may use are the type which will be for DCI users only, the make, or the body style of the vehicle. When your DMV vehicle search screen opens, much like the last search, you will have a left pane and a right pane. The left pane will show the four menu options you have for this search. The right pane will show the information for the menu you have selected. Note on both sides of the screen, the status, pickup plate, insurance stop, and inspection violation will be in red if any of those apply. Up top on the right hand side of the screen, it is given the basic information for the vehicle that that owner or leasee is using. Below, it will give the information on any owners or leases that are on that vehicle. If you wanted to access that driver's information, underneath their image, you could click on the view button. However, by doing so, that will take you out of the DMV vehicle search screen and take you over to the DMV person search as we previously discussed. The next menu listed is lien holders. When on this menu, you can see the ID and the lien holder name and address, county, and lien date, if applicable, on this vehicle. The next menu listed is registration. When on the registration menu, it will give you the plate number, it will inform if it is a permanent plate, its registered weight, the plate issue date, and expiration date, the name of the insurance company, and the policy number. The last menu available is your DMV vehicle stops. This will list the stop type and description of any DMV vehicle stops that have occurred on this record. In the top left corner, you are also able to print off a report for the DMV vehicle, known as the DMV vehicle report. Much like our last report, the criteria is somewhat the same, where you choose your parameters using a drop-down box, choosing yes or no to include or not include information. You may also remember these settings if this is a report you run many times or often and would like to keep the same information intact. You will need to choose a reason that you are about to print or run this report. That reason is one that you can choose from the drop-down box. It is not automatically entered as the search was. For the recipient, if yourself is chosen, your information and agency will show up automatically to the right. If you are doing this report for another criminal justice professional who is authorized to see CJ Leeds data, you may choose other and enter that person's name and agency information. But please note, your name will still show up on the report as the printed individual. In the bottom right, you may click on create PDF output to open and run this report.
Within both DMV searches, there are items known as hotkeys. What the hotkeys do is they create a shortcut in order to perform each of these searches. By hitting the control space key at the same time on your keyboard, a window will open in the middle of your screen. This will happen no matter where you're at within CJ Leads. You'll be provided two spaces. The top space will allow you to enter a driver's license number. If you also have access to wildlife, the bottom will allow you to add a wildlife customer number. This will perform either one of those searches. Another hotkey is the control and shift key hit at the same time on your keyboard. By pressing those at the same time, a box will open in the middle of your screen, no matter where you're at within CJ Leads, allowing you to enter the license plate number in the top field, or if performing a wildlife search, the wildlife registration number in the bottom field. Note, you must have access and permissions to perform these searches in order for the hotkeys to work for you. If you have any questions concerning any of the DMV search information within CJ Leads, please contact us at cjleadshelp at nc.gov. As always, we here at CJ Leads appreciate everything you do, and please stay safe.